Hello friends, welcome to our channel. And today is a Sunday, that means it's a DAX Sunday. Today I'm going to talk about three DAX functions, that is all, all except and all selected. So stay tuned with me till the end of this video and I'm going to tell you all about them. As you can see, this is my sheet where I'm going to demonstrate about all, all selected and all except DEX functions. Before that, here you can see I have two slicers. One is for the product and another is for the country. There is a table as well where I'm going to fetch all the measures. So let's start creating our very first major. The very first measure that we are going to create is about the total sales. So let me give it a name total sales that would be equal to sum of sales. So this would give me the total sales. Now if I fetch this measure in this table you will see it's giving me the total sales for all the products. The second measure that I'm going to create is all. So I'll say sales in bracket all. That all means is the filter that we are going to use in this one. For that, first we need to use the calculate, which is going to evaluate an expression in the context of the modified filters. So what we are going to modify here is the total sales, the measure that we just created and you can just put the comma and directly apply that filter so all now you can see we can either give a table name or a column name so whichever is the your concern over here that we can use it for example in this table I'm gonna use the products so let's use a product column I'm not using the whole table I'm just using one column out of this whole table but if you want to use the whole table you can use it I'm gonna tell you what is the difference between the whole table using and using this one column so basically this all function it's gonna remove all the filters that are gonna be on this product column instead of that if we are going to use the whole table table name rather than the one particular column name that means it's going to remove all the filters that are going to apply on this table. Let's close this one and bring it over here. So now you have noticed over here that it's giving me the same value for all the products. There's a reason because it's calculating the total sales and removing all the filters on this product column. That means it's not going to consider any of these products over there. While if I just select any of the products, you will see none of the value is varying for the total sales one. Because it's constant, there's no effect of any filter by the name of product column over there. If I select all product and I select any of the country, you will see the value is changing. This is changing only because we use the all filter function, removing the all the filters that are being applied on the product column not on the country or any other column. I'll just quickly show you if I just use the table name not the any particular column name you will notice that no matter what I do suppose this is the total selected now either I unselect the country or the product sales all is gonna be the same let's switch it back to the product column only for our further demonstration Next is all selected. So we are going to create for this one. We have to first again use the calculate, which is going to evaluate our expression. We can directly use our measure, which is sales, total sales. Then we are going to use this filter all selected. You can see in the description, it's saying returns all the rows in a table or all the values in a column, ignoring any filters that might have been applied in the inside the query that means it's going to ignore the filter which you have applied inside the query while keeping filters that are coming from outside the query 
so all selected it's again you're gonna use either the column one particular column or the table so I'm going to use my product column again and close this now let's select it you can see it's giving you the total sales based on the all the selected values now if I just select all in this product table you will see the values of sales all and sales all selected is the same now we have all the values over here this none of the value has been filtered out let's see how it behaves if I just select Canada let me just select the Canada so you can see that it's giving you all the selected values sum it's considering products fine now it's only giving you this value for the Canada this total sales is for the Canada for all the products that means whatever values now it has been selected in the slicers or by filtering out it's only gonna give the values for those only all selected you can also consider like all the selected values only for example now let's consider one another case if I just select umbrella so it's gonna give you only the values of umbrella product for all the countries and in this case you will notice that total sales and the all selected is same why reason is very simple because this total sales is for one product only umbrella and for all the countries so let's create a new measure again first we have to apply the calculate in order to evaluate our expression we are going to use total sales and let's apply this filter all except you can see all accepts are going to return all the rows in the table except for those rows that are not affected by a specified column filter it wants to convey the idea that it would clear all the filters except on one particular column on a table or a multiple columns which you are gonna mention over here so what I'm going to mention over here I'm going to mention over here the product field so it would only consider the filter on product but if I will apply any filter on countries on any other column it's not gonna consider them it's gonna ignore them so let's first the table name financials which is my table and then the product as a column name now you have noticed it it's gonna calculate the values row by row by row all values are different as in total sales in total sales that was the case because we haven't applied any filter so it was uh, considering all the filters that we have applied but over here right now all countries are selected and all products that's how it's giving but what if I just going to remove any of the country let's see let's say only Canada it's still the same only France it's still the same only Mexico it's the same that means it's ignoring all other filters or the fields that we have applied in the filter except the product but while if I just you know going to select any product so it's gonna give you only for this particular product it's gonna consider those filters the reason is over here in our all except we said that all except remove all the filters except the one that we have applied over here suppose instead of product filter I'm going to apply any other filter let's consider the ear for example I'm gonna create one more filter by the name ear and in this all except I'm gonna use the ear color not the product now select all now I'm going to make it multi select all now guys if you have noticed if I'm selecting ear value it's changing but now you can see it's a uh, same value for this why the reason is that it's ignoring all the filters by the products they are the different filter uh, different products on my very first column under the product and since our filter is only gonna work on the ear because that's what we have provided in the all except uh, filter condition that's how it's gonna give you the same value while if you will change the ear it's only gonna consider this one 
so let's do one more thing what i'm gonna do instead of just one column i'm gonna give it a one more column and in this time i'm gonna give it a product name as well so you can see this values are different if i uncheck any product it's gonna go it's gonna give values according to that see it's varying value now again and if i just uh, change my filter over here it's again varying so that's how all except works all except simple says i'm gonna remove all the filters from that table except in the parenthesis the filter that you are gonna mention to consider in this case we consider only product and the year so that's how it's varying i hope you like today's video for more videos stay tuned to our channel and don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for the latest updates mm -hmm.